Next tonight, should London follow other European cities like Berlin and impose strict rules on homeowners using rental websites like Airbnb for short-term lets? It's to stop the decline of properties being taken out of the normal rental market. Now the Mayor of London is looking at whether the same thing should happen here. Amelia Papadopoulos can tell us more. But it's a constant stream of people, sometimes several days at a time, just be confronted with rubbish sitting on doorsteps. I know there's been noise problems. Sue's lived in this street in Westminster for almost 20 years, but things are changing. She believes it's because so many properties here are listed on short-term letting sites like Airbnb, meaning lots of different tenants coming and going. It's changing the nature of the area, and the worry is that um, it could do so, you know, more and more people could start doing this if it's allowed. Um, because there's, uh, certainly they make a lot more money out of renting a place on a daily basis um, than they do if they're renting it for a year. There are now concerns that professional landlords are using holiday lettings websites to rent out properties on a long-term basis. London's Mayor Sadiq Khan has warned that new legislation may be needed to ensure it doesn't impact on the capital's housing crisis. City Hall has arranged to meet Airbnb bosses in the new year to come up with a solution. Well, I don't think anyone wants to see uh, the end of Airbnb, but it's important that it's being used for its stated purpose, which is for people to let a room or their property out for a short amount of time while they go on holiday. Airbnb says it brings benefits to thousands of Londoners, and its listings account for less than 1% of the housing stock in the capital. The current legislation here states that you can't let out your property for more than 90 days, but many London boroughs say holiday lettings websites are making it hard to police. Other cities have already cracked down. In Amsterdam, for example, flats can only be rented for 60 days a year. In New York, the authorities can actually fine hosts for even listing their properties on Airbnb or similar websites. And Berlin has taken the toughest stance. People there can only advertise rooms and not their entire property. They talk about sharing economy. That sounds pretty good. But in reality, it is big business. And it, 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 the, the, the end of this business is that we lose so many flats for ordinary people in our cities. And that's a problem. Enforcing the 90-day rule in London could mean more rental property on the market. And Airbnb users like Jade say it won't be an issue. It's actually quite a long period of time um, for lots of people who tend to run out on Airbnb and certainly not my friends who use it. They tend to do it for like short periods of time to either subsidise uh, their income, help pay their mortgage, uh, go on holidays uh, or just put some more cash in their pocket. And if you think about 90 days, actually that's, that's quite a long time. At this point, it's uncertain what new rules could be enforced. Whatever City Hall decides, other capitals may well be watching. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.